Good evening everyone and welcome for another week. I think it's week four. Week four this time for EU1. I'm your commentator for today. It's Shane again. Um, I'm on my own today, but let's uh, let's have a good one. It's a great track as well. So I think I see an Alpine coming up to the line. That's not only the case. Ferraris then. Uh, Milan invalidated. So Obama will be the first one to set a lap in this session. As he comes around the final corner and he is going to set a lap on the mediums and it will be a 115.7. That's most likely gonna get beaten, but enjoy it while it lasts, is what I'd say. Mali on the softs does exactly what I said, he does beat it at 14.1. McLaren over the line, eat that cookie also on the softs, 14.3, 2 tenths off, 5C and Alpha Tauri coming up the line, where's he? Conzo, there he is. To start his lap, that's a Haas. Let's see, Snipes, yes, perfect. 14-7. McLaren, other McLaren coming up the line. Ah, it's gonna be Rosa. He just came out of the final corner, past pit entry, and he puts his car up into fourth for a 14-9. I'm seeing Alpines come around the Rivazas, and he has invalidated. Uh, where's the other Alpine? There he is. QRT Lumi, there's also a Williams there, I think that is, we'll see that soon enough, Lumi sets a 15-2 on the mediums, Saucy then goes 4th with a 14-8, teammate Jamie is 3rd and Blade beats his teammate and puts his car up into 8 as then Milan puts his car up into 3rd, that's a 1-3 for Red Bull. Where have we seen that before? Um, who's next? Who's next? Conzo, perhaps? Conzo will be next. And does. Uh, oh, he does. A uh, 20 flat. Uh, a lot of people crossing the line by now. Wacky races, nothing there. Haas is crossing the line, not much to see over there. Let's stay on board. Wacky races for now while I just take out the laptop and then let's re chat while we're at it because or else it's gonna be a very lonely night for me. It's gonna be something for doing the race. Let's focus on quali for now. He has invalidated, so he's letting people pass. There uh, we go, SSL Mango now. And there he comes. As through the Rivazas. And there he comes on the final straight. Takes the cone with him, puts his car up into 8 15 1. Profonis now in the other Williams has invalidated. Another McLaren crossing line, that's most likely an in lap. Yeah, he seems to be pushing, no, he's not. Predictions on point. Nothing happening here. Oh. Uh. Okay, there we go. Um, fruitful then. Nope. Has invalidated. D 
DJ Gill sets the purple first sector. What can he do? Let's go on board with him then through Aqua Minerali here, the uphill corner. Nice part of the track. And there we go now through this very tight chicane and on to the downhill part going to the Rivazas. There we go. Drives under the bridge, takes the first Rivazza, then the second one onto the main straight. DRS opens after the pit entry, and there it is. Puts his car up into first with a 14 flat. Ah, well done. Great performance so far. These guys all pushing very hard. Times all, most of them all into the 14s. We have some time set on the mediums as well. As we just catch Bama invalidating his lap in the second sector. Got some great timing. Snipes then with Jamie behind him. Both on a lap. Can they improve or is it gonna stay the same? Let's see it now. Crosses the pit entry, nothing uh, happening there and puts his car up into third. Jamie is gonna put his car into the gravel I think it is. I think that's saucy then, sorry my bad. Jamie then, I've been saying this every week, but he has dominated EU2 last season, so what can he do in EU1 this season? Gets us all wrong through Aqua Minerali, and now he has to back out of his lap and try again next lap. Now, is the pressure getting too rude to him? That's the question. So who should we check out, Raggy, who just joined the session now on, on his outlap? Profodus just started his lap. crossing the line, nothing there yet, Mango is gonna cross the line, Snipes is probably gonna pit, Mango starts his in lap, I think that's fruitful, who's coming up there, yeah, Whoa, what are you doing my man? Rosa then, on the lap, opens up the DRS, can he improve, goes from 10th to 8th, 14-7. Lumi then and open the DRS and starting his lap right now. As I think that's Matty or Profodus who's gonna be crossing the line soon. It is Profodus and there he goes. Roy uses all of the curb to get a good exit and puts his car up into 13 with a 15 5. We have Matty Robo then going next. Puts it just in front of his teammate, 13th. I'm seeing Mercedes. Uh, Red Bulls, too. That's Mali who just started his lap. I'm seeing Alpha Tauri is coming along. Also, the McLaren of Ita Kuki is gonna cross the line. He is gonna finish a lap and he does not improve. 12 seconds slower than his previous lap if the telemetry is right. So who should we watch along with? I think it's Ross I was crossing the line. She did just cross the line that did not improve on his lap. Fruitful. Let's see Fruitful. He has not set a time yet. Is this gonna be the lap? Or is it not gonna be the lap? To be or not to be, that's the question. 
through Tosa, uses the curb on the exit. And there he goes now, takes a left, hooks another left, almost runs wide. Just to know, there he comes through Aqua Minerali, and well done. Zmali sets the fastest lap of the race with a 13.7. What can Fruitful do against that second purple sector? He has invalidated his lap, so that's a bummer. Next one, P Dog. Also, not set a time yet, going through Aqua Minerali right now. Ah. Cut the corner reel a little bit, but no validation, so the game did not think it was any wrong. And there he goes, runs a little bit over the curb on the exit. And there he comes through the Rivazas right now. That's one, that's two. No curb on the exit, and dives into the pits. Rosa most likely in his in lap wacky races 15 4 into 15th. What can he do? He's gonna pit his teammate most likely. He's on an out lap, so that's not gonna do much there. Raggy's gonna start his lap now. Mali then is uh, coming around the reverse us right now he will he be able to do anything that's or is he going to pit i think he is going to pit because he has set a time yet yeah, yes he does he's pretty comfortable up there in first place provisionally 13 7 is that gonna get beaten or is it not we have about three minutes and a half left for 19 drivers to try and get the car up there Raggy now enters the second sector. Well, has a long time ago. Um, then we go uphill through Aqua Minerali. There he goes. And set purple second sector. Perfectly taken that chicane by the looks of it. And there he comes downhill into Rivazza 1. And there he takes the second one, runs a little bit of curb on the exit, and like everybody does, car half over the line there and puts a car up into fifth with a 14-3. That's definitely not bad. DJ Gill then into the pits. I'm seeing a Red Bull, that's Milan most likely. Who else is on a lap? No one actually, so let's go on board with Milan and let's just go on board the whole lap. Is the Red Bull there? Then goes through Tram uh, Tamburello, and there he goes, running a curb there. There's a car in front there. Well, he warming up the tires. He should move out of the way soon, as he does. Let's the car go by, and Milan has left the session. So there has been some bugging going on. Uh, I think it's on his side, not on the game side. Uh, Matt e. Robo going too long uh, to... Uh, what the hell am I saying? Uh, Bama then on the lap. Us. There's wacky races again, letting the car go past. I'm seeing yellow flags on the side of the track. That's in the first sector, Alfa Romeo, and 11th. Who's gonna be next? Is it gonna be eat that cookie? Yes, no, it's, uh, I think it is. He's going very slow, so he's not on a lap as qualifying is over, judging by the checkered flag next to Raggy's name. 30 seconds left, it says for me. Snipes then through the first sector. 
There he goes. Taking that chicane very beautifully. What position changes are we going to see? Because I'm seeing two Ferraris crossing the line right now. Not nothing happening there. Um, can Snipes put his car second or first ahead of Mali? Mali has been doing very good in the opening races of the season. Sussy retires. Oh, gets it all wrong there, and that's his chances at a pole position gone. Eat that cookie now on a fast lap. We're gonna head over to some other guys who are further in their lap. Who am I looking at? Who am I uh, you validated. There's the Alpine of Lumi who hasn't validated, and he puts Scarpy tonight. That's within the top 10. But is that the place where you want to start? I can assure you, I started 20th, started on the mediums, and made it into turf. So, both strategies work pretty fairly, uh, pretty well. Softs to mediums, mediums to softs. It's both a very viable strategy as there comes the McLaren runs a little bit wide but no invalidation and can he improve he does put the car up into second there we go that's what you like to see if you're a McLaren fan and then we wait for everyone to have the car into the pits I guess while we're waiting for Jamie And then we should be good to start a lap. What am I saying? Start the race. I'm sorry. Okay. So then you quickly do a grid rundown from qualifying. Mali takes pole position. Itakuki second. Kirti snipes takes third. Raggy fourth. Milan fifth. Calzo takes sixth. Seventh goes to Rosa. Jamie eighth. Lumi ninth. Konzo tenth. Outside top ten we got Saucy. Bama twelfth. Blade thirteenth. Fourteenth for P Dog. Mango takes fifteenth. Sixteenth to Matty Robo. Wacky races seventeenth. Eighteenth goes to Profodas. Fruitful takes nineteenth. And DJ Gill, who got disqualified, takes 20th place. Um, I'm gonna get my charger for the laptop, if you'll excuse me, and then I can see the chat. back as we have not started the formation lap yet Obviously the top 10 uh, mandatory uh, starting on the tires they qualified on which will be the softs then we got further down the grid uh, mediums outside the top 10 for Saucy 
P-Dog, Mango, Matty Robo, Wacky Racers and Fruitful. And then we got a couple of guys outside the top 10 who opted to go for the softs being Bama, Blade, both teammates on the same strategy. Profodes and DJ Gill all opting for soft tires. Uh, warming up the tires now, weaving over the track from left to right, which is basically a formation lap in a nutshell. And don't leave too big of a gap because that's annoying for the cars ahead. Obviously, Mali isn't really taking it slow on the formation lap, or other cars are not really willing to follow him through. Then waiting for the last car on the grid to make it up here. And then we can start the race. That's a camera angle I want. And we're off. That's it. We, we've seen. Oh, that, look at that. So many cars side by side with each other. Nothing happening at the front of the field. Raggy gets up into fourth, so that's a position change right there. Calzo taking it back. We've seen a lot of position changes down the grid. Let's go take a look. Uh, what's happening down here? Let's so take a look a bit further down. So that's a ghost car of Milan who's dropping down the order. That might be it. Okay, let's then go and take a look at the front of the grid. As, oh, two cars spinning there. Up Aqua Minerali, that's uh, Raggy and Conzo both. That's not what you want to happen. What you want to have up? I don't know, my English ain't that good. Lumi taking the position of Jamie there. Both of them uh, picking up two positions, of course, from the spinners. Bama takes a position on Saucy. And what's gonna happen next? Obviously, Saucy. Oh, there's a Aston Martin spin around there. I think that's damage on someone's car, yes it is, uh, DJ Gills into the pits, that's Blade nicely waiting, that's good driver etiquette, nicely, and what's happening next, Lumi then behind Rosa, DRS will be enabled next lap. Rosa has dropped out of the DRS window. Snipes trying to get back into the DRS window of Itakuki. Both McLarens up second and fourth. That's definitely not bad. What's gonna happen next? That's my question. Itakuki is within. Uh, not really striking distance of Mali, but he's within the DRS. Can use the DRS to his advantage and then get within that striking distance. Konzo and Jake. Jamie might have spun, no he has not, he just lost two positions coming out of Aqua Mineral, he must have done something wrong, he's now got his teammate behind him on the mediums, the softs aren't that bad yet. That's what I like to see in the chat, come on for McLaren, yes exactly, that's what I think too. Being a McLaren driver, I'm biased, but just ignore that. Look at that, Itakuki. Now he's definitely within striking distance, but he doesn't have the DRS yet. Raggy sets the fastest lap with 17.8. 
Now we have seen the tires. Uh, let's see, no penalties yet. Obviously, how stupid am I? Uh, 11 positions dropped for a couple of people. Then the biggest winner, 9 positions for Fruitful. Uh, obviously, not bad. And then there comes the first penalty Mango taking 3 seconds on his time at the end of the race. Uh, let's take a look here. Is anything going to happen? Beautiful helicopter shots. Uh, you love to see it. There we go. Look at that. That McLaren going so slow through there. The Red Bull gaining so much time. All you need to do is stay within the DRS window. You will have, but you definitely out of striking distance. He has gained back a tenth and then lost two tenths. And there's a yellow flag. That's raggy. Down at Aqua Minerali again. Second time in a row. No DRS, look at that, eat that cookie outside DRS window, that's not what you like to see. Uh, Milan gets overtaken again, should be his ghost car. As there's some battling going on, uh, further up the grid, Lumi getting past Rosa, that was bound to happen. Rosa being outside DRS window of Snipes, now both of them inside the DRS window. Uh, of Snipes, Snipes being outside the DRS window of Ita Cookie, so these guys are in prime position to catch up to Snipes and then maybe, maybe uh, put the overtake on. P Dog gets past Mango, and that's Mango, he's out of the race. Where has it happened? Uh, let's see, there it is. Down to the side, there's the car, and it's no safety car yet, not even a VSC. So we like that. Obviously, some of the drivers will not like that because that's a chance for them to get close again. Obviously, safety car bunches up the pack again. And here we go. Bama is really close on the back of Konzo. Can he do anything? That is a question. And it's going to be answered right here on the main straight. They will both have DRS. And there we go. Oh, look at that. He has the drive, he has the slipstream, pulls out the slipstream on the McLaren, and they both go past the McLaren. McLaren without the RS. Rosa, why are you losing so many places? That's not what we want to see. I'm willing getting overtaken again down at the back of the field. Now Snipes has managed uh, to work his way out of the DRS window from the guys behind. Sorry. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's take a look over here. Bama, Rosa, Conzo in a three-way battle. I think Jamie's in there too. Co make it a four-car battle. Uh, we got some cars uh, around it too. We got Lumi. They're still inside the DRS window of Lumi. Lumi, you managed to get back inside the DRS window of Snipes. Uh, these cars are really close together, closer than the others. So is anything going to happen between them? So now then on to the main straight. Konzo being outside the other's window of Lumi. So he's uh, going to be a sitting duck. Especially for the Aston Martin. Not sure about the McLaren behind him. Nah, the McLaren's not close enough. By far not. Bama takes P5. That was bound to happen before the braking zone. Easy does it. P-Doc gets the overtake on Fruitful, obviously DRS versus no DRS is a big, big advantage. This straight, it takes a while to get past. And let's go back up here, let's, let's go down the field and uh, take a look over there. As we do have a three car battle over here, we got Wacky Races, Calzo and Matty Robo. Matty Robo leading the train, he's a sitting duck on the, uh, he's also a sitting duck on the main straight with the guys with the RS behind him. If we look at the tires again, uh, five laps in, uh, softs should be good for now, I think only like a few more laps and then the mediums start getting better. So let's go take a look again up further north on the grid what's happening over here let's see Rosa then can he do anything with the DRS obviously we do have this big DRS train console getting a little bit of tank slipper coming on the final corner and here we 
go. People with DRS, Jamie also having the DRS, and that's Lumi gets past Snipes. Ah, whatever, do it this way. And there he goes, that's the Alpine up into P3, and this has actually become a 1, 2, 3, what is it, 4, 5, 6 car battle, I think it is. Yes, it is, obviously, the three cars a little bit further behind, and as I said, Calzo gets past Wacky Races into Tamborello. Matty Robo managed to uh, drive away from the guys. He's outside the DRS window now from the guys behind him. Can they get back in there? That's another question. Loads of questions I'd be asking. So there we go. Seeing the guys go through Aqua Mineral the 47 time this race as Rosa gets it all wrong there. And this is Jamie's chance to strike. Rosa now outside the DRS window having to burn a little bit of ERS to get back in there. Obviously not a bad choice, you want to have the DRS to not be a sitting duck and fend off the guys behind you. Obviously Lumi is going to be uh, pretty down bad here without DRS and look at that, Snipes is bringing an Aston Martin with him. What's going to happen, the Aston Martin has the drive, he's way closer than he is to Lumi but look at that, not much happening there. Straight line speed of Snipes being able to compete with the straight line speed of Bama. There we go, oh look at that, and Snipes gets Lumi on the exit of turn 3, beautifully done, Lumi must have messed up somewhere, and now look at it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 car train, at least 5 cars, Matty Robo spins it, and that's a VSC, he has no front wing left, it won't be a safety car yet, and I don't think it's gonna turn into a safety car anyway. This gives the guys over here a little bit of breathing room. Konzo really holding off on the uh, on the Delta being over a second behind. He wasn't over a second behind at the start of the VSC, so definitely not wanting to cross over that Delta because if you do, a drive-through is definitely not what you want, especially not when the race is as close as this. And there we go, we're green again, DRS enabled again, and look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cars right here, uh, Jamie a little bit behind, 9 tenths. And let's take a look, anything happening here, maybe Rosa on Konzo, nope, it's Lumi on Snipes, there we go, into the braking zone, and oh, oh, that snipes off the track. I don't think, I think he saved it out of the wall. No damage there, but he's gonna lose a position to Jamie too because Jamie has the speed and Jamie backs out of the move. He had to back out. And then snipes having the racing line. That's all so unfortunate for Snipes, of course. I think Bama might have hit the back of Snipes there. At least it looked like it. They were very close together there, so but he hasn't lost all of it. He's still within DRS, so he's not out of the train. Which is obviously very nice. And here we got another yellow flag. That is Blade. COS Blade. And there we go. Another lap. Lap 9 of the main straight with DRS. Here we go. This time Lumi without DRS. Bama 7 turns behind. Is he making anything happening here? No, he's just gonna get closer. He's just gonna get close and get it done the next lap. Or at least try the next lap. Not sure if he will be able to do it as Jamie now gets past Snipes, but they're outside the DRS window, and that is played again on Aqua Minerali this time. Look at that. No VSC or safety car. Fruitful then on the back of P Dog. Anything happening here? They're on the back of Saucy. Saucy on the back of Snipes. Just outside the DRS window. There we go. And look at this. People driving close together. We'd love to see it. And that's a McLaren getting it all wrong. That's Rosa who's off. And now outside the, the top 10. 
just into P11 and Kyle's will be in uh, pretty far behind he doesn't have much to worry about there we go coming down through the roof at us now one two three cars uh, what was a six uh, six car battle is now a three car battle as we have the first people taking pit stops that's Lumi lap 10 um, it's viable but I would have waited till lap 11 or 12 I mean I've seen someone do it on lap 8 so it's definitely viable but you're gonna lose a lot of time till the uh, at the end of course then uh, there's not much left over here now here we go a new five car battle with two ferraris holding off the rest of the train being the house of snipes the alpine of p-dog and the alfa romeo of fruitful so anything happening here i think maybe saucy might get past jamie on the main street uh, seems like the best option there since uh, Jamie's not gonna have a DRS Saucy is and their teammates so not much to fear um, I wouldn't fight it that hard but obviously uh, keep in mind that there are three enemy cars behind you so don't slow down too much of course what is left on the track what else do we got we still have a three car battle a bit further down the grid let's take a look over there in a bit as let's watch this first eat that cookie now pits uh, trying to fend off the um, move of the alpine last lap of course pitting the next lap is the undercut gonna work that's a question uh, they were a bit far behind so I think the undercut might not work Jamie one is pitting as well so see being the first guy on mediums let's let's uh, get the tires on the screen as the pit stop window for the soft runners is now opened uh, we have Milan on the hards I'm not sure if that was his call or the AI as snipes gets it wrong there on the curb a quick look at the penalty, 6 seconds for snaps, 3 seconds for P-Dog. Um, then look at that, P-Dog, and there he goes, he's gonna try it. He sticks his nose up there, but can't make it stick. Uh, the mediums are definitely better than his softs right now, yeah, look at him struggling. He's struggling so much, he's losing the back end there, Fruitful just picked up a penalty. Uh, that's three seconds for fruitful but obviously snipes is really holding up the guys behind and they will not well they will have drs for this lap but they will not have drs the next lap unless they get within that one second window of saucy and there we go snipes is in fact in the pits which now promotes saucy up into the leader when we have the provisional leaders qrt mali where is he gonna come out of the pits He's now exiting the pits. We got Profodas and Wacky Races coming along. Yes, he gets out behind them. Raggy there, still on, still out on the softs. He's gonna be having to pit. He's definitely a bit late. Profodas also out on the soft still. Um, these guys are within the DRS window saucy, so we might have a three-car battle for the lead of the race. Obviously, depending on the, when a safety car comes out, we could see these guys keeping the lead after the pit stop, after they, they make their pit stops. Which would also be... These guys would love it, some others might not love it. A bit too far back then, there we go. Wacky Races, Profoders and Kirti Mali. Profoders really holding up Wacky Races. Softs versus old, softs versus old, mediums versus new mediums. So Mali is he's gonna have to work his way around wacky races because 12 laps on the mediums are not that bad. So let's see what he can do. There we go, DRS is now opened. Uh, Profodes opts to go for another lap as Raggy does the exact same. And this is Wacky Race's chance. He dives to the outside. Profodus covers it off. He wants the inside, but he couldn't make it stick. Probably had to lift off the gas because lift off the throttle because of Profodus. And now look at that Molly. He wants the position. He's almost pushing him around the corner. <laughs> I mean, 
do have this three car battle further down the field with Ida Cookie on his fresh mediums who wants to get past Raggy. 30 lap old softs. And there he goes. Look at that. The, the difference in grip. The fresh mediums having so much more grip than the uh, definitely old softs. And there we go. Gets the position done. Wacky races still can't seem to find a way past Profodus. Having a much harder time than Ita Cookie did. And there we go, not having the best exit. Pretty slow out that corner. Kalsa picking up three seconds. So, what is Mali gonna do? Mali should get the position this lap. He's so close to the back of him. He has uh, such a better drive compared to here, compared to Wacky Races on Profoda. So, there we go, opening up the DRS. Yep, there we go. And Mali's gonna try, he's gonna send it. Or is he not? No, there we go. Wacky Race is getting past Profodus this time. And Mali's gonna try and do the same. Dives it up the inside there. And he gets the position done. Very close racing. And that's what we love to see, of course. Jam Jamie and Gonzo having a little battle with DRS. And let's go look up here. Lumi, Itakuki and Profodus. Now these guys behind Profodus, Profodus really slow on the softs, making trains behind him. Peter Payton has lost it into Aqua Minerali. Let's take a look at where the car is, and that's a safety car. This is perfect for Profodus and Raggy, and there is the car of P Dog. That's unfortunate. It's not what you want. So what are the leaders going to do? I. I hope they're gonna stay out or they might go on the softs and then do another stop on the softs. So what's the plan? Yes, it is. Fruitful dives into the pits. Saucy is doubting it. He's going slow. He still dives into the pits. Had a little bit of doubt. Had to think about it. Think twice before you do. And Wacky Races is gonna follow him. Yes, he does. Molly, obviously, just fresh mediums right now. He can go till the end of the race. He's gonna do exactly that. Eat a cookie, of course. Lumi. Uh, and obviously, yeah, Raggy Profodus into the pits. That's uh, some good timing for the safety car. And some good determination from these guys to stay out. Fruitful comes out on the hearts. I don't really think that's a tie you want to be on on this track, but. He's doing it, and I admire it. Where is it? Where is the strategy call gonna take him at the end of the race? Because that's when it matters. That's when the points get scored on the last lap, where you finish at the end of the last lap. As Blade now, perfect Blade gets to unlap himself. Ah, that's just perfect, and he gets to. Slot back in at the back of the safety car train and giving him all new chances to try and get himself inside the points as we're just waiting for a couple of cars who have pitted Matty Robo also on the softs, Wacky Races on the softs, Saucy on the softs. So we got three guys going onto the softs. We got a couple of medium runners. Raggy opting to go for the mediums. Yes, that's definitely the right call. Profoda is going on the hearts. That's. He was on the sauce before, so that's definitely the wrong call. Um, fruitful in the heart, so he started on the medium, so he didn't really have a choice except for going on the softs and then having to make another stop on the softs. Fruitful opting to uh, not do the second stop, going for a second set of softs and just take the hearts till the end. If there is another safety car later in the race, he will be. Um, at a disadvantage and there we go I think oh he might just have cycled through the tires okay. he could come in for another set of mediums let's stay on board and see what he does McLaren P crew also coming out that's Rosa and that's softs going on the car and he's getting rid of a five second penalty by the looks of it there we go could have been the game that was glitched when you say you want softs and they give you the hearts. So annoying. So annoying. And now we're he sitting here. Um, yeah, during the safety car, waiting for it to go away. And then we can go racing again. Uh, 
let's just let's just take a look at Blade and and just see what he's doing as this is the man we have to wait for going down the main straight just casually on his own nothing to worry about thinking about life and thinking about not crashing of course first sector going to cross over going into the second sector going round Tosa now going uphill takes a right very silly right then a left hand corner another left going down takes a right another right uphill down a little bit straight taking a very tight chicane over here left right and going downhill towards the Rivazas and next lap we're gonna go racing again and this race has actually given us a lot a lot of action so far so I'm excited to see what's next in the remaining However many laps there are, lap 17, he, he maybe might be able to get these softs to the end, um, not a bad call, he opts for the mediums, so not what I expected, um, I have some people, I have seen some people pinning on lap 18, um, it's definitely possible getting the softs from lap 18 till the end, uh, I pinned lap 19, definitely possible to get the softs till the end, so Lap 17 might also be possible. Haven't tried it, but it's only one lap difference. Could make the difference in some situations. Being a track that's very heavy, heavy on tire wear. Um, Blade getting a lot of uh, screen time right now. He definitely won't mind it, but I think this is the... Uh, only car that's actually driving full throttle through the grid has the safety car is gonna come in this lap so he definitely needs to make sure he gets uh, he gets up there which shouldn't be hard uh, here we go Mali now setting the pace let's go on board a little bit let's look behind look at that that's a whole train of cars weaving to get the tires hot oh, leaving a little bit of a gap that Konzo um, Oh, that McLaren so close to the back of this Red Bull. Red Bull using all of the tracks so the McLaren can't put the car to the side of it. And we're gonna go racing again. That's what Mali does exactly where I would have gone. Smart play and look at that. Six tenths. Gonna be seven tenths in a bit. Yes, it is. That's a very good restart. Look at that. Ita Cookie is using a lot of ERS to get himself up there. We have seen the tires now, so let's get give yourself some more screen to work with look at this there have been some guys sleeping my man saucy who isn't in the session anymore or at least i think he isn't his car is ghosted but he's actually going pretty fast so i think something might have happened i think his car is gonna stop ghosting right now yes it is there it is it's not ghosted anymore uh, bama getting past konzo uh, that's some nice uh yeah don't know don't really know what to say molly lumi eat the cookie uh had a good restart then the rest pretty much fell asleep we had a big gap down first lap uh eat the cookies uh, dropping back from lumi and molly lumi also out of the dr so molly um is molly gonna run away with it again that's question to be answered at the end of the race but by the looks of it he's outside the deer as we know but it's not that easy to get the gap bigger snipes then gets past saucy this time coming out of the rivers uh, what am i saying coming out of the rivers there we go and look at that the speed the softs against the mediums we're gonna go down into turn one let's take a look there's the car and snipes gives it up 
beautiful scenes, beautiful racing. You love to see it. And Jamie is P6, P7 for Saucy Ferrari. Not doing bad. Ita Cookie has now lost a position to Bama, who are 2.2 seconds behind on the top two. This is a great restart from Mali. Lumi, who has closed the gap a little bit, he's just over that one second window. He wants a DRS on the next lap. Ita Cookie, a little bit of a tank slapper there. To, it took the first corner a little bit too tight, definitely did that, and that's Rosa round again. Not round, but definitely made a mistake. And he's now dropped back a little bit further down the grid. And there we go, Raggy now. Profodes, where is Profodes? There he is now behind his teammate. Lost position to Raggy and Rosa and his teammate. Lumi, who has had to use a lot of ERS to get himself back inside that DRS window. Let's let's just uh, let's just take a look at the uh, at the ERS. Look at that: thirty percent for Lumi and seventy percent for Bali. That's uh, that's gonna come and bite him in the ass later on, definitely. Now, Saucy. Um, the back of his teammate, look at that Cal the Fusel just gets past Calzo into Tosa. As I've said before, softs against mediums, but how long are these softs gonna hold on uh, compared to the mediums? I think the guys on the softs might want to stretch these softs till the end. Uh, since we're pretty much at the pit window for softs uh, at this point, I mean, if a safety car comes out right now, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna see this whole great pitting for softs, which is most likely uh, the case. Maybe some guys get it in their head to not do so. Lumi then DRS now, he's definitely not close enough. Only nine tenths, he's gonna just close in and close in. Make the gap come down to four tenths, I think it is. Ah, five tenths on the dot. There we go. He's now six tenths behind, but he's not gonna keep that lead. Obviously, not. Footfall gets past. Snipes with a little bit of help of DRS. DRS can do wonders. We have a spinner in the first corner, that's Blade. And there we go. No safety car. So then we've got, I think this is interesting, we've got a group of cars pretty close together, we've got Ita, Cookie, Konzo, Jamie, Saucy, oh Jamie gets it all wrong, this is the moment where you let your teammate go by, yes he does exactly that, smart play, smart play, to not lose that much time, especially if you don't make your teammate lose uh, as much time, I think Saucy's on the softs as well, yes, there is a difference in compound, tire compound. All he needs to do is just try and stay with his teammate. He had got the DRS to work with it, and Wacky Races is there too. And he brought a whole train with him. He brought Fruitful, Snipes, Raggy, Raggy, brought Calzo. Calzo being a little bit far behind, he's only nine behind. And he brings Rosa, and Rosa's gonna get the overtake done on Calzo. Yes, he is. There we go. Both DRS, softs versus mediums again. Gets it done in the breaking zone, gets the inside. There we go. Calzo a little bit tired on the second corner and has a little bit run wide. That's Blade into the pits. Oh, look at this. We've got a, a real DRS train right here. Oh, beautiful scenes. Seeing the whole train come up the hill right here. Got a train led by the McLaren of Ida, Cookie, Konzo, followed by Konzo. They both Ferraris behind that. And we got Wacky Races, two tenths behind the Ferraris. Fruitful behind that. With his teammate Raggy behind him. We've got Snipes in the mix as well. This is the train from P4 down to P11. Beautiful scenes. Uh, let's just let's just take a look at Ida, Cookie and, and see the train. Let's just see Konzo being a little bit far behind. Uh, let, let's just let's just look at Konzo's POV. There we go. See the whole train come down the grid. 
Saucy closing in. Gonzo himself is closing in. There we go. We've got some things happening up there. Not that much. I think Fraki Races got overtaken by Fruit Farm. Look at this. Jamie is right here on the back of. What am I saying? Fruitful is right here on the back of Jamie or Sops versus Meteors, as I said, and he dives it down the outside of Tosa. Can he make it stick? Yes, he does. Look at the grim difference on the softer compound. And there we go. Gets it done. As uh, while that was going on, we had snipes going off at turn 3, I think it was. Definitely didn't miss that. Saw the yellow flags, had a little glance at the minimap. I saw a Haas. What's gonna happen next? Obviously, uh, eat that cookie has made his way outside the DRS window. Cons there is the DRS uh, activation point. Uh, what am I saying? The DRS detection zone. And he Conzo not being in the DRS window, so this is a free overtake for Saucy. Six tenths behind this straight is not that short. So uh, straight line speed of Saucy not looking too good. He's just gonna come out short. He, yeah. Just comes out short there. Look at his uh, foot. The Raggy gets past Jamie. Uh, Jamie on the mediums. He's dropping positions left, right, and center. The guys on the softs are really picking up the places right here. Snipes diving into the pits. As I've been saying uh, for some weeks as well, when someone goes into pits with taking five seconds, they're most likely, most likely going to retire. And electric blade in the chat not being happy with some other drivers send it to the stewards they will take care of it if you're not happy with someone else's driving the stewards will take care of it whether it's in your advantage or not that's there that's in their hands Uh, Mali can't seem to get away from Lumi. Lumi can't seem to get past Mali, but they are running away with it. Three seconds on Bama. Pretty much three seconds. There we go. And look at the Matt Evo and his teammate. What's gonna happen over here? They're both on soft, so that's not gonna happen any much anything there. Uh, Saucy getting past Konzo. Wacky races gets past Jamie One. Look at this, both Alfa Romeos there, they're gonna wanna get past Konzo as well, soft runners definitely stronger than the mediums right now, is this gonna last till the end of the race, that's the question, because the mediums are definitely gonna start to get better, the closer and closer we get till the end of the race, yeah, let's go look at how far the tyres are, we got a couple of people, I mean 13 laps on the mediums, I think near the end of the race, these mediums and softs might be equal uh, on performance if these guys have been on the mediums for this long. And we got uh, take a lot of look at position changes. Fruitful definitely being a big winner starting P19. Uh, penalty situation 6 seconds for Ita Cookie, Saucy 3 seconds, 6 seconds for Fruitful, 3 seconds for Calzo and Matty Robo. Everyone has pitted except for the retirements early in the race. Okay, let's see what can the Alfa Romeos do. Definitely, Conzo outside DRS window again. Every time he gets overtaken, the lap after he's outside the DRS window of that car, and there he goes. One Alfa Romeo on one side, one Alfa Romeo on the other side. Both get in the position. Beautiful team plays, and there we go. They're not definitely not holding each other up and they're helping each other quite a bit giving each other DRS a look uh, Fruitful gets it a bit wrong Raggy wants to have it but Fruitful's gonna cover it off uh, I don't think if Ra I don't think Raggy could have had it unless Fruitful gave him the position and meaning having to uh, release the throttle or let him by which would have put him in danger of Konzo they're still within the DRS of Saucy, so not much happened there. Oh, Fruitful going just straight lining uh, Aqua Minerali. That's not what you want. Yeah, you're gonna let your teammate buy for that one. Definitely don't hold him up too much. Uh, Jamie getting back past Wacky Races. Medium, so not out of it yet. Is this the point where we start to see the mediums come back? Not sure. Jamie 
uh, his medium seem to be better than Konzo. Is he gonna get Konzo here? Konzo has the uh, DRS and he definitely has the slipstream of Fruitful. Fruitful not dropped out of the DRS of his teammate. That's not. Oh, there he goes. He loses the position because of it. And that's it. Obviously, I can understand Raggy. Oh, look at that. Eat that cookie's out of the race. That could be. That could very well be a safety car. It is a safety car near the end of the race. Lap 28. What is this race? People, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be in for a. What is it going to be? A two or three lap sprint till the end. Are the leaders going to pit for softs? Are the soft runners going to stay out on their set? Or are they going to pit for a fresh set? Let's just go take a look at what Molly does because he is the leader of the race at this point is he going to dive into pizza or is he not are these soft runs diving into pizza or are they not only a bit four more laps to go uh, fresh softs uh, are very well are very nice depending on how many laps we can do one or two laps could get overtaken by fresh softs mm. depends 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 so many things it depends on and there we go Mali staying out on the mediums I think that is a very smart move to do uh, whoever pits now is at an advantage for a few cars ahead but you're not gonna get up into the podium anymore uh, I don't think there will be enough laps left to uh, work your way all the way up there but there are a couple of people who are pitting uh, being Bama, Profodus, Fruitful Matty, I'm oh, sorry, not for this. Matty, Robo, Calzo, Fruitful, Bama, all one of the fresh softs. Yeah, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna have the advantage definitely. Profoda is gonna get caught. Rosa gonna get caught. Wacky races might get caught. Jamie depends on how far he is. Depends on how far ahead he is by the time they get past these three. Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna get into the podium positions with, with two or three laps left. Um, the longer the longer you have, the more chances you have, but the less laps, the less chance. Uh, I'm curious to see what the fresh softs are gonna do, but I think the guys who stayed out are obviously uh, in a better position so far, obviously. Matty, Robo, Calzo, Fruitful, who are now outside the top 10, might very well be inside the top 10 at the uh, end of the race, but definitely not uh in the podium in the podium positions which is ultimately where you want to be but you got to be happy with any points you can get uh, especially after a race like this we've seen some guys spinning we've seen some guys straight lining corners we've seen retirements we've seen it all and of course very close battling the most important most exciting part of this race we're gonna go for another lap on the safe car that will be lap 30 meaning we'll only have two laps of racing a two lap sprint till the end uh, looking at the tires uh, 15 laps old versus 17 laps old 12 lap old softs 11 lap old softs uh, 16 15 lap old mediums 12 11 11 lap old softs and have uh, a set of fresh softs and then Milan staying on the hearts. I don't know if that is yeah, still the uh, AI car of Milan. And everyone has caught up to the grid of safety car being a beautiful thing. Love the AMG safety car, especially the 2022 one. Looking very great. The real life 2022 one, of course. Mm. Yeah not really sure what to say i definitely didn't expect uh, a safety car this late into the race after seeing uh, all of the racing so close together guys uh, not really spinning that much and then we have a mclaren of ita cookie sending it into the wall probably eating a bit of grass or uh, being uh, too tight on the on turn three which can definitely send you spinning i've had it before i've had it before There we go, Mali trying to wander the tires. He knows this is the lap that the safety car comes in. He's what is he gonna do? Is he gonna bolt at the same? Is he gonna what am I saying? Uh, close up the field as slow as he did uh, last time? And is he gonna bolt at the same place as he did last time? Let's, let's just go on board and look at the back again. 
because these are just beautiful scenes. Of course, looking at seeing cars so close together. He's going, to, he's going a bit faster than last time, probably indicating that he's going to go later than last time, not at the same place, because you obviously you have to wait till the safety car is in the pit lane. You can't go before that. Um, yeah, look at that. He would have bolted here last time. He's going to do it after the first Rivadza into the second Rivadza. Look at that. He's going to bolt now. Uh, there we go. A little bit late. But prediction was right between the two corners. There we go. Not as good as a restart as last time. Four tenths this time. But he's slap. His mediums are two laps uh, softer. Uh, what am I saying? Two laps younger. There we go. And now this this is where we want to be at the back here. Bam. Oh, look at that. That going to be why almost like a fruitful losing two positions people uh, uh jamie gets past conzo there we go conzo not really doing good on his uh, mediums it's jamie being very well on his old set of mediums and there's a profodus who has spun a wild profodus there we go now we will not have the drs uh till the end of this race so that's gonna be a bummer i think uh mali's got this in the bag he's been doing very good this season i didn't commentate the last two races so i don't know how he did the last two races but bama gets past rosa there we go as i said fresh softs working well but they're not gonna get them up as far because there's only two laps he might get another maybe one or two positions He's gonna get past wacky races right here. That's that should definitely be an easy overtake. Then it's uh, close the gap to Conzo. Conzo not feeling comfortable in his uh, his old medium, so that might very well be work. I think Jamie's gonna be the hard part, but by the time you get to Jamie, the race might very well already be over. And this is what we want to see right now. Raggy on Saucy. This is where we want to be. Soft one or Soft's only one lap younger. And it's 4P3. Saucy has the penalties, but there we go. Raggy sends it up the inside of Tosa and gets it done. That's a great race. That's my EU4 buddy from my first season. And proud to see him up here in EU1. EU1, my boy. Yeah, there we go. Fruitful gets passed. There we go. Fresh softs working as a treat. And now Konzo, he, Palma is out of race. I'm not sure what happened there, but something happened there. Might have gotten a little touch at back from Fruitful. I'm not seeing any damage on Fruitful's car, but Fruitful has penalties. Konzo has penalties. Jamie does not have penalties, so he could very. He's gonna most likely end up in front of his teammate. P4 will be his. There we go, we have the finishers, I'm sorry for not being on board with Mali as he finished the race being in P1. There we go, Milan, the AI car of Milan still finishes the race ahead of Profodes and finishes the race in P10. I don't think he's gonna get the points because he wasn't in the car. So that might very well be points for Mahi Robo, then I think it is Wacky Races gets the driver of the day provided by Codemasters. And this is your podium for today. Mali takes another one. We have a uh, Alpine of Lumi, I think it was. And then we have the Alfa Romeo of Raggy, who has been beheaded. The beheaded Raggy. What a very nice game this is. So then, you grid rundown, please wait, as it says. There it is, QRT Mali taking the win, taking it from QRT Lumi. Raggy takes third, Jamie takes fourth, Saucy takes fifth, Wacky races six, seven goes to Colzo, Calzo takes eight, Brove Brothers there. Uh, right behind each other, Rosa tenth, Milan, uh, Rosa ninth, Milan tenth, eleventh goes to Mai Robo, Fruitful twelfth, Profodes thirteen, Bama fourteen, Ita Cookie fifteenth, uh, Snipes sixteenth, Blade seventeenth, Pedro Payton eighteenth, and Mango 19 DJ Gill being in 20th. I think we had a couple of, I think that's 6 DNFs, 7 DNFs. Definitely 7 DNFs. 
so then the drivers uh, who want to do an interview i'm gonna invite you to an interview so the screen's gonna go away for a bit who is it i think molly lumi and raggy let me invite the guys um Um, pom 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 pom, Molly, Lumi, mm. where's Raggy, where's the man, the man himself, okay, can't seem to find him, Let me to here. There he is. Obviously, Marina, that's very true. What a race it was! Very enjoyable to watch. It was a great race. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I love to see it. I think it's a Red Bull who won the race, if I'm not wrong. And I've got a couple of the guys here. I don't know if Raggy if Raggy's coming. Let's just give it a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. Beautiful racing. I loved it. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um. I don't think Raggy's in here, so let's uh, let's start the interviews then with our second place, which was uh, QRT Lumi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So, uh, very good race there. Um, obviously, ending up in uh, P2. Just uh, walk us through it, if you, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, so, um, obviously, I started P9. I knew I didn't really have the pace today. I was trying to start P11, be the first of the alter alternate runners. And... I messed up, I started ninth, um, but I managed to claw myself through strategy and, you know, uh, a couple of people had their misfortune in front of me as well, they spun, but managed to get P2 in the end, couldn't get past Mali, he was too quick, too like fresh of tyres and easy, just had the pace today, so <laughs> there's nothing I could have done there, so try not to get my last warning and try to keep it clean, get P2, I think that's a solid result. That's uh, definitely a solid result. You must be very happy with it, uh, P2, of course. Um, not not having started as planned as he just told us, and still getting P2 is very well done. And next week we'll be going to Portimao, if I'm not wrong. So what are your thoughts about that? Um, I've had some success in Portimao before, and... Hopefully it's going to be a good race. I know it can be a bit tricky on strategy, but um, yeah, hopefully I have a good race there and I can attack Marley again. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hopefully uh, you do have a good race next week. Um, go enjoy your second place and uh, I will see you again next week. Then Thank I'll you very much. Uh, let's move over to our race winner, QRT Mali. Uh, obviously, very delighted with that result. You have been uh, doing very well on the uh, previous races at the beginning of the season. Um, so, just walk us through your race today. Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, firstly, uh, thank you for the comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, anyway, on to the race. First off, uh, for me, personally, an amazing quality. And I was not expecting myself to get a 0.7 because Imola is not the easiest tracks to be consistent at, especially doing one really quick lap, but a 0.7, I'm happy with that. Uh, very good. Uh, onto the race. At the start, Cookie was kind of pushing a bit, I felt, because obviously he was, he was staying two turns behind me around there. But obviously, uh, as the laps kept going, I kind of saw he was starting to struggle a bit and he made a mistake at one point and I, I capitalized on it and I pushed with my ERS with my tires and I got out of DRS and I just continued to build that gap. Uh, yeah, and then the safety car came out. Or, sorry, the first VSC came out. We didn't pit because our tires were still fine or 
I think uh, most the majority of the soft runners. So yeah, that was a no-brainer there. Uh, paid for mediums was feeling very good. I had a 3.7 gap to Cookie, I think, at one point. Uh, and then I got past the other people who haven't paid uh, quite cleanly. And then I managed to to keep going. Safe, the other safety car came out and then I, I, I kind of felt it started to go downhill, but obviously, you know, it will go downhill if the guy's right behind you. Uh, good, clean safety car restart. Everything went well. Uh, I was feeling great on pace. Uh, I could push whenever I want and it was just, just a great race on my end for me. Well, obviously, uh, very well done. Go enjoy your uh, first place today. Um, I don't think Reggie has joined. Also, if it was my call, um, I don't want to jinx anything, but I don't believe in that stuff. I think you're in a good position to win the championship this season. Just, just pointing it out there. Um, then, thank you all for watching, and we'll be back next week on Monday, 9 p.m. UK time for EU4 at Portimao. You definitely don't want to miss it with a great commentator duo being Matty and Dan. Um, and then we'll see you all then.